Alrighty guys, so what's going on is uh, you guys seen it firsthand in the video. I don't have enough power over there for my pump for the rain catchment or the shower because those batteries are pretty much defunct. Um, so what I'm going to do back here is I got some wires that I'm going to hook up to the heavy gauge wires that used to run this part of the trailer but are still up in the ceiling. I'm just going to hook them on there. Do a rewire um, back here and back there. And I'm basically going to make a little bus bar set up over there where I'm sending power from the these batteries that away to run my pumps and to run um, the shower and lighting. So that's what we're dealing with. So it's going to be a while. I'm going to put this camera on charge and uh, I'll get back to you once I'm all finished. Alrighty up. guys, so I've been a busy boy. I've hooked up to the wires in the ceiling, kind of strapped them along. I gotta come back and hide those wires there. And I've uh, been busy back here with the wiring. So what's happened is um, I re moved the bus bars down here. I have that, um, I have this on a switch. So I'm going to throw the switch. Power should be there. And well, I hope, yeah, there is. So lights, now they run on my lithium batteries, the lighting. This, I'm not sure. I may have to adjust the, the plug for it. Should be working though. Oh no, never mind. I forgot a negative I gotta hook up. That's why. So I'll hook the negative up and then I will have my pump for the rainwater. We're gonna run that and we're gonna charge uh, this little plug in is for the hot water tank to charge its internal battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that wire that I forgot and turn it back on and come back with you guys. All right, we're gonna throw that switch again. That's better. I heard it click over there, the lights are on. And let's try the pump. That's a lot better, isn't it? All off of the lithium iron phosphate battery. Now, Let's try the shower again. Uh-oh. Maybe I gotta let that charge for a while. I don't know why the pump's not turning on and that's not a good thing, folks. Because without that, it'd be a damn cold shower. I'm afraid. So at least this water will be moved up and ready to be used and that will solve that. Let's go take a quick look, see how our power is going. Now that I have a fridge on and everything else, uh, we'll see how much drain we're putting on the system. So 13, bringing in 2.63 amps and we're at 13 volts. And I can actually kill these lights to help conserve some power. Not that I need them. Turn these lights out too. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Uh, Cause I don't normally have to run the pump a whole lot. Um, it's just when I'm moving water from the bottom to the top and then we're good to go. Now, um, if this doesn't work, I will be screwed. I'll tell you that. Um, hopefully that little pump is not going to have issues. We hope so. 
the pump is right here. Oh, there's a fuse for the pump. Pump fuse. Let's let's take that apart. I bet I blew the pump because uh, of all the nonsense going on. So we'll go check that. Guys, we did blow a fuse on the pump. Now I have to somehow find a replacement. I, I'm having a hard time reading what the amperage is for this. But I'm gonna have to take that with me. So the pump blew a fuse. Not entirely sure why for the on-demand hot water tank. So that is not a good thing, guys. We're gonna have to fix that somehow. Hey guys, water's done pumping. Check the battery here. Still at 13 volts. <laughs> Pretty amazing. So what I'm gonna do, bring you over, show you the water level, all the water we moved. And that worked out okay. So that's how much water we got in the off-grid tiny house. And that's uh, 50 gallons is right here. So we're closing in on 75 gallons of water. Off-grid free and filtered. Um, it still has, you know, it's been treated with bleach. So like I say, I always tell everybody not for drinking unless you throw it through a Berkey, uh, uh, Berkey filter, Gravity Bilk Berkey, or a Pro, Pro Pure or a Sawyer Mini or something like that to make it edible. I'm sure it won't hurt you too bad though if you do get some in you. But like I say, I'm using it for showers, cleaning clothes, washing hands, brushing teeth is okay with it. Um, and this guy I'm letting charge up and we have to go find that fuse before the stores close, before the long weekend hits. Oh my. So, um, I'm gonna leave that window open and let things do, do what they do. And uh, I'm gonna have to go on a run looking for a fuse. Now, I remember seeing a small fuse somewhere here. So I'm gonna look through some stuff before I head out. But I don't want to take too long because stores may close and then I may be screwed for the weekend. So, be back in a bit.